Hello, Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1. This is going to be Part 17. I I have not had a series run this long. Why it's Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. I mean, this is I'm having fun with this game, but I'm plenty annoyed with it too, and yet I am compelled to complete it, so... The, this patter that the women have. Listen to this. Vague feminine noises, I guess. Alright. Uh, we have... 31 monies. Blindsided, regular informant. Uh, oh yeah, this is the guy that was shot in both eyes. Uh, yes. Let's take a look at that. That's in the old ruins down over here. Uh, this away. I, I'm gonna. I, I think it's time for a bit of a change here. <laughs> I still have my battle clothes on. Uh, oh, that's right. I was gonna cheat this time too. All right, we may do later. Uh, we're gonna go with the ice cream man. Just because. Uh, that's not gonna work with the thing. Yeah, we'll do. Sure. Uh, and we've got. John's in his regular clothes. John, you could be a sailor. Alright. Oh, this outfit is just. hideous. Alright. I knew that we would be returning to the older ruins for something. It was just far too detailed an area for the developers to just have it hanging out here without any purpose, so... Uh... Good day, sir. There you go. Good, Good day to be alive. And, by extension, a poor day to take a bullet. Um, yeah, what are you doing here? Why are you just standing there? I came to take the deceased to the cemetery, but caught sight of Mother Nature's bounty and had to drink my fill. He won't mind anyway. Let me tell you, friend. Sweet sea air, the calming whisper of the waves. It's a salve for all ills. Okay. Do you know what happened here? Officer said there was a duel, <laughs> shots fired, and then that fellow took his last breath. Reminds me of last year. So the inspectors have been and gone? Of course. Police don't let an undertaker do his work before they finish theirs. Last year, so you're saying that there was a duel where somebody had both eyes shot out? You mentioned out? a previous incident. It was in the old city ruins. I remember the deceased was very rich. Front page news, very, very rich he was. But hmm. a coin makes a poor shield, as I always say. <laughs> and who needs it when a view like this is free? Okay. Who died? Oh, no, 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 mister. It is not my place to say. Not your place. Nonsense. As you say, he won't mind. Death with dignity. That's all we can hope for, sir. He doesn't need his name out there. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, we are done. Um, alright. Well, he is in the throes of experiencing his brain damage. Uh, let's see what we see. I don't see a lot. Oh, there he is. Why are you poking him, John? What in the hell? This man is no more. He's ceased to be. He's expired and gone to meet his maker. He's a stiff, reft of life. He rests in peace. You know the rest. I know. Wait, that's a quote from something. This man is... Bereft of life. What is that from? He has ceased to be. What is that from? <laughs> oh shit. That's a quote from something, a movie. Um. Uh. Okay. I, I can. I can hear. The actor delivering the lines. Um, it's a oh, it's a it's Monty Python. Monty Python. 
<laughs> uh, the the Norwegian uh, uh, parrot sketch. Oh man, uh, beautiful plumage though. All right, one, two. He's wearing a strange suit, but it was a duel, so he knew this could be his day to die. One, two. Is that it? There must be more. There's his jackets. There's four. All right, so there's three somewhere. Um, there be three. All right, he's here. Gun, the gun is not in the right place for him having dropped it. Not, not by a long shot. Um, I'm guessing two is where the other person stood. Indeed, we do have a blindfold here as well. Footprints. So he there. Shooter here. John just freaking me out. Uh, his jacket over here. So... Oh, there's three right there on the ground. That's the case for the guns. So they came here amicably. Yeah did their thing, took their positions and fired. Okay, well, this is bizarre. Start with a gun case just because uh, it's damaged. The of the box is broken, likely from being dropped. It's too bad. It's a nice box. Um, small caliber rounds. Those look like rimfire. Blank cartridges filled with red wax covered gelatin bullets. Most assuredly non-lethal if rather theatrical on impact. Huh. So they're prop guns. Well, they're not prop guns. There's no production that would use actual projectiles, be they wax or no. But then again, it has happened before. Shouldn't, but it did. Um, is that meant to be Webley? A case for dueling Webley revolvers. Uh, yes, they are shaped as Webley revolvers. No, they're not. They're not. They're the bottom of the grip. The flat bottom is not a Webley design, to my knowledge. I'm not a firearms expert, but I believe they had rounded bottoms with uh, lanyard uh, eyelets. We have a book and a contract. Mandatory blind dueling club rules. Do not talk about the blind dueling club. Never miss an opportunity to practice your shooting skills. Do not shed blood at duels or other club meetings. We, the undersigned, hereby declare that this duel shall be subject to and bound by the blind dueling club's strict code of honor. May the winner be crowned a blind champion. Signed, E, V, S, and J, D. So, E, Von, Van... And JD, witnessed by HFVC, honorable referee and head of the Blind Dueling Club. Okay. Well, Gosh, how wrong. exciting. I always wanted to be a member of a club. I bet you couldn't join. No good at following orders, are you, Sherry? Ah, the contest then. I shall prove my blind devotion, so to speak, to their inane rules, and you shall eat your words. Really? What do you want me to do? Fulfill the three blind dueling club rules. So not to talk about the cl the club. Never miss an opportunity. Okay, so I have to do the combats. And I'm not to kill anybody. Oh my god. Alright, he has a hanger. He brought a hanger for his jacket. And then... Oh, wait, that's more than a jacket. There's a tie and a shirt and a vest and everything here, too. So this is like their outfit. This is like their uniform? Or is this just a collectible for me? Oh, it's just a collectible for me. The duelist suit. All right. Killer here. Victim there. Let's start here. We have... Are these still wax gelatin bullets? The bolts? duelist eventually reloaded his gun, but all the cartridges were filled with red non-lethal rounds. 
Hmm. So the blind duelist club is you shoot and reload until somebody gets hit. That's a blindfold, discarded or lost. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Your opponent was behind you. Hmm. So really blind then. So how did that happen? Or is this our is this our victim? No, because then why would there be two blindfolds? Key. It's got a phoenix. A key for a bird cage. I'll take it. The bullet entered the heart at an angle, implying it was fired from an elevated position. He died instantly. Stop. That. Predictably, the rumors were exaggerated. The blindfold is intact, with both eyes unharmed. Well, I'm fucking disappointed now. The whole reason I was here is because of that rumor. It's Webley-esque, except for this. Blank cartridges filled with a wax-covered gelatin bullet. Effectively harmless, even at close range, but leaves a nice red splash on impact. I wouldn't say harmless. A Webley top break revolver. <sighs> hmm. Elevated position. Well, from the way the body fell... He would have been standing more or less here. A little bit or akimbo. Yeah. More or less here. And the shot would have had to have come right up there. But if I remember correctly from the last time I was here, I couldn't get up there. So they probably mean over here. Ah, there we go. Some splashes from Red the fake bullets. Fresh. So he was down there blindly shooting. Ah, this is not a Wibbly revolver. One chamber is empty, the others are filled with live rounds. Alright, so this is a murder weapon. This is a uh, an older technology, but for the late 19th century would have... You know, still been around, similar to how CRT TVs were around even after LCD and LED TVs came out. These are this is a percussive cap revolver, so you have to load each chamber, and then you have to manually put a primer at the end for the hammer to strike. And a match revolver, forty-two caliber. So, yeah, this is this is not the right position. Uh, the shooter would have had to be more like over here but I could still say that you know I, I get what they're going for here um so he's down there two people show up one of them is down there randomly shooting in the wrong direction the shooter happens to be up here the actual killer I don't know I think I'm going to need to piece this together here after we get a chance to to take a peek at the uh, potential solutions. <clears throat> so let's start with this because this. Uh, no, he wasn't moving away. He's facing the wrong direction. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Let's see what the other options are. Yeah, okay. So that's him. That's the victim. Uh, this guy was standing not in that direction. Yeah, he's in that direction. Do we have any other options? No, that's it. Okay. I mean, he's literally in his footprints there. So that we've got. Uh, what is this? Oh, right there. The the. Um, why do we have the referee here with firearms? Yeah, that's more like it. And then the box got broken when he dropped it when he ran like a coward. Alright, so there we go. 
And then over here. Uh, he's taking another... No, he didn't take any guns out of the case. There's only two guns in the case. Uh, no, that's not it either. So... That doesn't seem right. But it seems more right. Oh, he's not carrying a Lamat there. Um, well, no. I guess it's supposed to be this one. But honestly... We know that there was a referee here, but we have no reason to think that the referee was the shooter. It's a completely different revolver. We didn't see anything that showed that the referee brought a revolver. It could easily be another shooter who was here laying in wait. Okay, the apparently victim that's was correct. By someone up on the wall. It may have been the referee who took advantage of the duelists while they were blindfolded. Hmm, this seems plausible, but I must consider all options. Uh, there was another person here. Yeah, exactly. Plausible, sure. Oh, do I have to do it again? Plausible, sure, but, you know, just as likely as there being another person. So, do I have to do it all over again, then? Why does it have me do it twice? This is the first time... It's asked me to do it twice. Uh, so the referee... Okay. Ah, there we go. Now we have what I believe actually happened. The referee hears a shot, drops the case, panics, and runs. Yes. The victim was killed by someone up on the wall. There may have been someone else here, a fourth person waiting for an opportunity to strike. Yeah, now we're talking. Um, I think we need to know more about um, this last murder that happened he mentioned a while ago. Um, I don't know where the key goes yet. And I need to find the referee. I have to talk to him. Um, similar uh, happened in Old City... On the front page of the local gazette sometime last year. So that's the one that we're going to do now. We have to go to the gazette and search their archives for an old city murder a year ago. And now that I have the duelist outfit, don't mind if I do. Um, what's a snazzy hat that can go along with it? Yeah, there we go. That looks just fine. That looks just fine. Ketchup and mustard, baby. All right. Um, old city front page. Uh, the young heir to one of Cordona's richest families has died in a blind duel. During the curious incident, the victim, who cannot be named until all of his family are informed, stepped in the wrong direction, falling off the cliff to his death. The survivors have expressed their deepest regrets and sworn to never duel again. And then they did, and somebody who was really upset by this murder decided to teach them a lesson by killing them. Or at least the person that they thought was responsible for this. Most likely his opponent in that last duel. So, but that doesn't really give us a new... I mean, it gives us leads, but there's nothing that we can, like, go for. Uh, I would need to know... I don't even know the name of the person who died in a duel. I don't know the name of the victim of this duel... I don't... I mean, I have their initials. Uh, 
Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I have their initials and nothing else. Um, I have the key, but I have no idea where the phoenix, the phoenix thing is. Uh, what the significance of that is, I mean. Um, Um, I'm at a dead end here. All right, let's go one by one here and see what, what clues we could follow up on. Um, People are talking about a man who was killed in the old ruins on the southwestern side of Grand Surrey. Apparently both his eyes were shot out. We know that that is not true. And figure believes that the murder is sad, but accidental consequence of a duel, which would be a case for the police. He refused to say the name of the victim. If I want to make him talk. I'll need to provide a piece of evidence. Oh, I need to talk to the undertaker. Provide him a piece of evidence that the death was intentional. I don't I do have that from the reconstruction. Okay. I, I have the, the Matt Revolver. So I need to actually go back to here and talk to the Undertaker again. Sometimes I think beauty can blind you, or you can be blind to beauty, you know? Did he see it all around him, do you think, before he covered his eyes and drew his pistol? Um, well, I'm not supposed to talk about the blind dueling club, so... Can we please leave the Nassering behind? Oh, friend, relax. Life's too short to be short with people. Life's too short to sit here and listen to your shit. Enough tomfoolery. Give me the victim's name. I told you that's his business, not yours. Two men dueled, one man died. When you hit a rock, stop digging. No, when you hit a rock, you... Um, the revolver. Hmm. Doesn't ring a bell. That's proof that it was somebody they, they weren't dueling with. Okay. Uh... One of them was during the duel victim was shot by an unknown killer. There is more to this case than meets the eye. The victim fell not to his duel opponent, but to hidden marksman in the ruins. Abandon your oversimplistic ideals and tell me the name of the deceased so his killer can be caught. Ah, oh, that is wrong to be sure. Okay, the man's name was Eric von Staub. I heard the officers say that he lived in Scaladio. At last. You may return to your vacant stare. Uh, seriously, dude. You have some kind of lingering head injury or, or something. Alright. Um, more research now. Air von Staub. So... Uh... Oh, the police were already here. There's going to be a police report with his actual name. Now that I have his name, I can look it up. I was wondering if it was a city hall thing or, or what, but now the police have already been and, and gone, and they have the report. I need to find the report. Violent crimes. Victims... Grand Surrey? No. Yeah. 
A man was reported to have been shot in the old ruins. The victim has been identified as Erich von Staub, born 1857. Oh, he was very young. Unmarried. Year of death, 1880. Place of residence. Von Staub residence in Cor Cordona. Relatives. Irma von Staub died in 1877. Horse accident. Gerhard von Staub died 1877. Horse accident. Magda Irma von Staub Slipster lives in von Staub residence in Baskerville Street between Vernet Street and Bonaparte Street, Southern Scaladio. So, Baskerville between Vernet and Bonaparte. Baskerville between Bonaparte and Vernet. So, somewhere in the there. Interesting. Your stairs appear to be malfunctioning, just so you know. Uh, fast roll here, go south. Oh, it is a nice neighborhood for the von Staub. Extra, extra! The Ides of Augusta! A shocking confession of Augusta Copello, killer of Niccolò Detti. Basilio Copello supports his wife. Interested in some Cordona news? Well, that's nice. I'm glad that uh, Basilio Check the front is page. making you his choice. It. Not the right choice, mind you, but he is making his choice. Um, is this? Seems to be. Hello, sister of dead guy. I'm here to talk to you about dead guy. What a strange foyer. Why would there be a dressing screen in the foyer and to what? To, so people can preserve their modesty while they're taking their coats off? Or The fucking mirrors are just... Why would you have a mirror in a game that somewhat functions, but instead of reflecting things, is a portal to some kind of hellscape? Where you can see that uh, this is just, I, I, it'd be so much better if there was just no mirrors at all, or if they just weren't functional mirrors. It's just distracting to have these weird portals to the dark realm all over the place. Um, anyway, I'm not being critical. I'm here to investigate. Miss von Staub is awaiting the police, sir. Perhaps you might visit on another day. Um, man, yeah, perhaps you didn't see the outfit, but if you witness my trip, you'll see that I'm far more important than the police. A uniform, huh? It's a strange-looking uniform. It's like a low-level... There's no uh, rank insignia on it or anything, and she's dusting it, which is a weird move. But, uh, anyway... Again. Miss Von Staub is Shut awaiting up. the police, sir. What? Perhaps you might visit on another day. <sighs> You're really going to make me do this. I guess this is why the dressing screen is here, huh? So that I can go behind the screen and they will never know I'm the same exact person that was just here. The first rule has been satisfied. Ah, yeah. And they are fans of the moustache. Oh my god, the fact that the dark skin reduces your um, police disguise is just too fucking perfect. It's too perfect. <laughs> Why does the makeup increase? The glamorous makeup increases my police by quite a bit. As does the other makeup. Why would it do that? <laughs> Why would it do that? What are they trying to say? <laughs> Hello, I'm a cop now. Good day, officer. Miss Von Staub awaits you in her boudoir. Her boudoir, eh? Hmm. She too is young. Um... I'm just going to check this door quick. Oh, I can go through this door. There's a 
Who's this guy? Hanging out in your garden. There's a guy here in your courtyard, did you know that? Good day, miss. I regret to disturb you at this tragic time, but could you spare a moment? Oh, officer. I've been waiting. Is his body still in that horrible place? A horrible place? <laughs> I should introduce you to the Undertaker. But first, you and I shall get to know one another. Observe. Pallid. In mourning already, your brother is... Okay, I mean, understandable. Recent bruise around the wrist. Nasty one, too. And a healing bruise on the other wrist. Fresh scrapes. Dried red paint. Just more red paint. Magda von Staub, a frail and sad lady in her 20s, is the sister of Eric von Staub. She wears a black ribbon as a gesture of mourning, and her pallid face suggests she rarely leaves the house. While all her attire is neat, there are two interesting pe pe excuse me, peculiarities. First, I found multicolored paint flecks, which suggests a passion for painting. The red color prevails. Second, substantial traces of ointment on her dress indicate heavy usage. I noticed multiple bruises on her person at different stages of healing, so it seems this ointment is applied as a medicine. Miss Von Staub is trying to conceal her bruises because she is ashamed. She is a victim of abuse, beaten frequently, and imprisoned in her own home. Or... Um... Substantial traces of ointment... No, responsible Bruce. Here's what we're applies to medicine. Miss Von Staub is following a treatment regimen to manage a blood disease, which is responsible for her tiredness and skin marks. Why would we assume it's a blood disease? I don't see any bruises anywhere else but on her wrists. So, that seems pretty clear to me. I am Officer Holmes. I take it you are Magda von Staub, the sister of the deceased? Oh, pardon me. Yes, I am. My deepest condolences, Miss von Staub. Your brother's body will be returned to you shortly, as I believe the case will soon be closed. Nevertheless, there remain some formalities requiring attention. May I ask you a few questions? Oh, uh, uh, if you must. But I'm unsure if I will be of much help. <laughs> Um, let's talk about these bruises, huh? Forgive my intrusion, but I must inquire about your bruises. Did you take a tumble? A tumble uh -oh. that left a bruise all the way around her wrist? It is not so bad, but my skin marks more easily than a peach. Oh, maybe she is it just is sick. the least of my sorrows. But, Miss von Staub, I can tell you suffered new bruises even before the old ones had healed. I have nothing more to add, Officer Holmes. It is what it is. So, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe she is sick. Do you know if Mr. Von Staub had any enemies? Someone that may have sought to do him harm? Enemies? I don't know. He and I did not discuss such matters, and he was rarely called upon by visitors. My brother's only guests were his friendly contests, but I was not allowed to participate. I merely heard it all from my room. Contests? Eric would practice shooting on the patio, and occasionally friends would join him, but I, I couldn't tell you if they ever argued. Hmm. Where were you when your brother Where was you killed? When your brother died, Miss von Staub. I was here painting Eric's portrait. My God, you could have asked the servants. Oh, Alas, shit. I needed to hear it from your lips. <laughs> may I take a look at Mr. von Staub's room? His personal effects may prove invaluable in our understanding of the case. Please do. Here's the key. Okay. That was weird. Um. Is 
there nothing in here? So at least covering the mirrors, you know, is, is less... I mean, it's weird that they would all be covered, but at least it's less weird. Oh, there is something in here. What is this? What is this? This is this is what it asked me to. Okay, the 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 inspect thing was on this, but Sonata Number Seventeen in D Minor, Tempest, Ludwig von Beethoven. Okay. Only German there we go. composers feature here. Well, I mean, they are the von Staub. Oh, dead parents. It appears the parents are dearly missed. Our beloved parents, 1875, Baden Baden. Rest in peace. Huh. Okay. Um, all right then, is Eric's room across the way? No. Okay. Must be. Good day, officer. Through the courtyard. Miss Von Staub awaits you in her boudoir. Is that guy still here? What the fuck are you? Oh, it's John. Oh, I forgot I gave him the sailor suit. I gotta change him because he looks too much like the other NPCs. Look at those vases, Sherry. Bet they cost a fortune. It would be a shame if someone broke them. Well. The rule is to never pass up an opportunity to hone your skills, so... Oh, I love it when you're reckless. Were those Limoges porcelain? <sighs> you have a keen eye. Well, I suppose it's yours. Next time, shoot with the blindfold. Is that it? Okay. Uh, pin, and we gotta talk to the servants, I suppose. Um, engraved horse design. So the Phoenix key is probably to her room, I'm guessing. Because he's kind of a creepy fuck, it turns out. Looks like he's been abusing his sister. Um, Never miss the opportunity to practice your shooting skills, right? Well, I didn't, so... Wait, what was the third rule, though? I can't remember. Uh, do not shed blood at duels or other club meetings. Okay, so... Guessing there's going to be a battle, and I'm going to have to not actually kill anyone. Which is often harder than it seems. What oh, this is... Nothing. Okay. What this is? Is this Eric's room? Oh. Bird. It's a freaking cannon. Let's see what else we got, though. Uh, nothing. Okay. Boyd. Horse. Okay, so this should be hers, and that should be his. There's her ointment. An ointment by a Dr. Herbert with a lavender and pine scent. Lavender and pine? Sounds horrible. This is what she says she was doing. And there he is in his yellow suit. Is the paint still wet? Yeah, he looks like a piece of shit. A handsome portrait of Eric. Miss von Staub does have talent. And that's a riding crop. That's not a firearm. The rounds have been emptied. Mm, why? The black paint looks thick. It's been mixed with something. Gunpowder. Okay, I don't need to actually do the analysis, it's just going to tell me. Okay, that's fine. I guessed it anyway, so I'll avoid the formality. What's this? Excellent score. Huh. Okay. 
Okay. The end and the beginning. That's the ruins. From an upwards angle. She covered the locked windows with paintings, but the atmosphere remains oppressive. Sad home for a young woman. What is this stage? She covered the locked windows with paintings, but the atmosphere remained. She covered the locked windows with paintings, but the she covered the locked windows with paintings, but the she atmosphere remains many oppressive. easels. Sad home for a young woman. Is that it? Hmm. I felt like there would be more. You, let me speak to you. Can I ask you a question? I'm sorry, but I can't help, officer. Okay. Car 98? No. It's too early for that. Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. That sounds familiar. There's gunpowder. A wealthy man in his 60s. Sir Barnaby Boddington, 1879. Alright. Blind Dueling Club. A typical crest for a league or a guild. Club headquarters, 190th anniversary celebration. Received your application recommendations. We will study your profile and branches, and of course, inform the honorary council you applied to, to be a successor. Okay. Anatomy studies. Doreen des Nibelungen Wagner. Dear Mr. Boddington, thank you for promptly responding to my request and sending us your portrait. Magda's admiration for you has grown even greater. I can tell that she's overjoyed to soon be engaged to such a remarkable gentleman. Oh, really? Such an old dude. Many fine suitors have been seeking my sister's hand, but I believe that only a man of your caliber is worthy of becoming her husband and protector. Making her marry such an old dude. As an old dude, I don't get it. So here we have a powder horn, but I don't understand why this is not a black powder rifle. We can see there's cartridges right there. Partially disassembled with a magazine taken out and bolt is removed, but I don't understand exactly why that is at all the case, but all right. Dear Mr. Von Staub, thank you for your recent statement of debts owing. I assure you that I am well aware of the 70,000 gold marks to which you are entitled. Indeed, the figure lingers in my mind every time I see you at the club. Please rest assured that I'm eager to put an end to your worrying and have, in fact, already begun to prepare for the opportunity. Until then, I remain grateful for the patience and goodwill that accompanies men of nobility such as yourself. With some respect, HFVC, the very same initials for the referee at the duel. So, the club owed him a great deal of money for some reason. Oh, he's just got a bunch of rifles here. These rifles are a bit, a bit too early, I think. The earliest internal magazine repeating rifles with smokeless powder cartridges and such, I believe, are... They're right at the tail end of the 19th century, and this is meant to take place in 1879 or 1880. I believe that we're still about 10 years from these things being mass-produced, although, again, I'm not a firearms expert. I could be wrong. 
I could be wrong, but I believe that we're just a bit too early to be seeing firearms like this with the stripper clips right there and uh, the bolt-fed repeating rifles. I think we're a bit too early. Not that I'm complaining. Lever-action rifles, certainly. Revolvers, certainly. Although these this uh, these two revolvers here on the left look a little bit too modern. I want to say that the K-frame there is a little bit early here as well, but this last style over here with the um, revolver brake, breech loading, and this, oh, that's the flintlock pistol I saw before. Oh, look, a little matte revolver, just like the murder weapon. Okay. What that is. Burnt letters. The Prussian Army Guide to Corporal Punishment. Oh, Jesus Christ. He was really serious about his abuse. He even studied it. It's fucking gross. Pistol case is missing. Um, or the dueling pistols also fit that description. Killed with his own gun. And the, what became of the case? And here's his fucking crop. This whip is well loved and well used. Yeah, gross. Fucking gross. Why does he have a pile of dirty yarn and a rifle in the corner? Uh, uh, I hate this case. Um, gotta ask around about the Blind Dueling Club to figure out where that is, so we can go there and just try and find the referee. Burnt letters. We have a Chimia. Five, negative seven, and seven. All right, we can do. Um, here is negative five, negative three, and then we need to get to seven. Here's a four, three, and one. All right. Um, oh, and shit. We uh, we actually have less to work with here, so it's not going to be as easy as just brute forcing our way through it. Um, all right. Uh, here's a negative five. Yeah, see? This is our last... Yeah, this is our last blend here. Um, all right. Then I'm going to have to back a bit here and we're gonna have to throw in an increment and this here throw this in there Five, seven and we gotta get to negative seven here so we're gonna have to decrement And again, and then our last blend. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Five, negative seven, seven. I managed to restore some fragments. The variety and handwriting suggest multiple authors. Miss von Staub, let me profess my low. My hand and heart are stiff, not for your brother's refusal. So she had a suitor, but he was trying to marry her off to some old dude. All right, now let's talk to the staff here. Help me, please. I'll gladly tell you everything I know, officer. Okay. The Von Staub servants confirmed that Miss Von Staub didn't leave the house on the day of Eric's death. You know where this Excuse is? Excuse me, just one question. I'll gladly tell you everything I know, officer. Servants said that Eric always left by foot when wearing his yellow outfit. That's all they knew. All right, then. Um, so he left by foot, so we have to do the uh, trigger trace. The, the, what's, uh, what's I'm going to do? This, uh, this thing? Or most likely from the front door rather than from his room. That makes more sense.
literally cannot shoot John. <laughs> Disappointed. Well, it doesn't have the concentration icon. It still has the uh, talking to people icon. Um, it's my uh, Doc Holiday cosplay. You know, duelist and all. Alright. I'm wearing the red suit. Or the yellow suit. Talk to me. Can I ask you a question? That's a question I can answer. You'll say the symbol is on an aristocratic manor in southern Grand Saray. Perhaps the upper class inhabitants there can help. Alright. Then to Grand Saray. Southern Grand Saray. How about right here? Looking for some upper crust folk. Not any of them. You look fairly cr Oh, no. You're a uh, Ottoman and you're a sailor. You look fairly crusty. Help me, please. I don't know. Perhaps someone else can help you, sir. Alright. It's actually probably going to be near Stonewood, isn't it? Near my own house. That's the crusty area. Man, all these people are too fucking poor. Um. May I ask <coughs> for your assistance? Oh, sir, I'm afraid I don't know about that. All right, maybe the servant. Is this familiar to you? I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. Could you help me? Excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Ah, very crusty. Uh, do you know anything about this? I can't help you with that, sir. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should try over here. Or over here. Help me, please. I would never deny you, sir, but I know nothing about this. Hmm. Okay. Wealthy inhabitants? I mean, here we go. This guy's got a fucking top hat and everything. May I ask you something? That's a question I can uh, answer. There we go. I was told that the crest represents an honorable club on Baskerville Street between Saul's Row and Silent Way. Members only. Well, luckily I already looked the part. Baskerville Row, Saul's, and Silent, so very nearby to that. It's right down here, as a matter of fact. Uh, literally right here. Must be this, then, I guess. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's that place I was at before to do the other quest. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey, what's up? Please come in, sir. The gentlemen are waiting for you on the training ground. Down the stairs. Clothes make it the man. Bunch of old folk up on the paintings. Looks like Andrew Jackson. Oh, here's the Lamat revolver. Oops. I'm missing Lamat. Or is that. 
Heinrich Alloy Fügen von, okay. Das Wunder. Hm. Well, it's not the same name. Uh, oh, is this the guy who died in the duel? 1845 is when the picture would have been taken. They're all von Krom. Uh, this says he's still alive. He was born in 1845. This guy dead. What about you? They're all on crumb. We'll be inside. Do not shed blood at duels or other club meetings. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. And I want to look around and see if there's anywhere else I can go first. Oh, this is just a bathroom. It's nice that I can go in there. Oh, we've got a... No, nope. never mind. Fancy. Not every manor has a custom floor. That is the von Kramcrest, the old Prussian noble family. They must be patrons of the club. I mean, their name's literally all over this place. Ah, here we go. Guest book with messages from many reputable visitors to the club and an invigorating visit that uh, reaffirmed the need to preserve German traditions across the world. Friedrich Wilhelm, Crown Prince of. Prussia was honored to meet the head of this club. Oh, HFVC. Heinrich Huygen von Krom. Who does such good for us? Okay, Governor of Cordona. He's the one who owes or owed Eric a great deal of money. He is the referee. It's his revolver. Not looking too good for the ref. Gave him the benefit of the doubt. But it's not looking too good. Okay. Frederick Wilhelm visited, apparently. Um. Oh, what's this? How often do you think they check the submission box? My application deserves prompt consideration. Okay. <clears throat> do not shed blood at duels or other club meetings. That's the third rule. So. I assume that means I'm not supposed to kill anybody. There's a Lomat revolver. Oh, God damn it! Really? It's the killer. Shake a leg. Get him. It's time to knock this guy out. Get ready for some pain. Too simple. Take this! Why are they using real bullets? Oops. Okay, I better be careful. I'm gonna accidentally kill somebody here. It's all yours now. Go for it. <laughs> Don't bother. The snuff's ready. Uh, why do you have knives? This is a fucking dueling club. Oh, right, because every fucking enemy in this game is cookie-cutter. Heaven forbid we have a unique interaction with enemies here. Oh, okay. I'm coming for you. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. <laughs> Take it 
take a rest. Of my all, and of all of the the enemy encounters to make unique, this would have been the most appropriate. Like this is obviously one that is unavoidable and Too simple. Unlike all of the other like random gangs and shit um, that we were fighting before, like unique enemies, unique dialogue, something a little bit you know less exactly the same as everything else we've been doing would have been nice. I couldn't miss the party. Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. John, you're obsessed with the pepper snuff. You have a problem, dude. Get Ow. Ready for Ow. Ow. Don't bother. Oh, don't cry, you'll live. Can I be done Do now? Thank you. I must say, Sherry, that was near perfect. Okay. Could it be that you're it. not completely hopeless? You son of a... Where are you? Fucking John. It's too bad we're in the patent medicine era. If I could find some antipsychotics, John, I swear to God. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Something here. Broken glass. Glass crushed underfoot with damp traces still visible. Left in a hurry. Can't come. I fear for my life. I must leave Cordona at once. Sorry. Be careful, Dorfman. Second telegram. Those blasted anarchists are everywhere. It's their fault. I shall come to our emergency assembly at once and bring my... And I'll bring my... Gun. Is it comp? I'll be there. Alas, poor Von Staub. What a loss. Who was it? The English left-handed duelist? Oh. That's why they attacked me. They think it's me. I'm English and I'm left-handed. Oh wait, no. I do hold my gun in my right hand. I missed it. What was it? Two glasses with dregs of alcohol. Should I pour us a drink, John? No. Now that I think of it, I think I do hold my pistol in my right hand. Mm, a nice apricot aroma. Marillion schnapps, I presume. Half full. Okay. So they were enjoying a drink and then left in a hurry. Is that all there is? Why would I... Well, there's gotta be more. I'm looking for people. The club was founded in 1689 by August von Krom after a notorious bet. He had to kill 22 ducks on a moonless night in order to win the attentions of the beautiful Lady Hedwig. Unfortunately, the night was too dark and he killed two innocent wanderers instead. After losing both the bet and his beloved August vowed to master the art of shooting and so founded the blind shooting club to prove their skills members had to shoot through a screen this task quickly became monotonous so club members began practicing with blind duels the club's name hereby changed to the blind dueling club 1777 after the death of one of the members important changes took place including the replacement of real bullets with homemade blank cartridges the club split into several houses and exists now in different co uh, countries to keep the tradition of german sharpshooting alive The same ingredient was used in the dueling revolver's ammunition. And there's the cans of dye they use. All these places are perfectly secluded, ideal for private duels. So maybe is that one of those? Oh, what was that? 
Clever system. Is that really it? Oh, I gotta pin the thing. That explains that. Where's the... Where's the... There it is. Secret door, huh? Who the devil are you? I won't go down without a fight. Sherlock Holmes. And if I wanted a fight, you would already be on the floor. Fortunately for you, <laughs> I'm merely here to ask a few questions. Is that so? Well, come on, pretty boy. How about I fix that nose of yours? Give it a bit more character. Enough. Your compatriots attacked me and I responded. They still have their lives, unlike Mr. Von Staub. True. At least you are not a murderer. Fine, you may speak. Observe. Excuse me while I stare at you intensely for just a few moments. Poor sight. No. Doesn't hurt a blind duelist, I suppose, but might hurt somebody who's trying to shoot from an elevated position with a revolver. Of course, he is a marksman, despite his glass eye. Oh, but he has been wounded. Possibly blood, or... No, that looks like a bullet impact from the gelatin caps. That doesn't look like a bullet. That didn't go through his... Why would he be bleeding? It didn't go through his jacket. That's the problem with the Sherlock thing, is you can't assume that he's actually a genius, because... Dirt from the old ruins. Listen, dude, I know that you fled in terror, I just want you to tell me what happened. Alright. <clears throat> this is Heinrich von Fuegen von... Von Fugen? Von Fugen. Fuegen. Fugen. Fuegen. Von Krom, the head of the Blind Dueling Club, he descends from German nobiliary as his, nobiliary, nobility. I think they might have meant uh, as his rich signet ring attests and suffers from very poor eyesight, though he conceals it well. Um, he turned his disability into a strength by becoming the Blind Shooter Club champion and wears a badge to prove it. Taken as a whole, these traits suggest a confident and prideful personality. His yellow club outfit bears evidence that he was at the fatal duel. No, that's not a that's not a blood splatter. That's not a that's not a dying man grabbed my sleeve. That's a definite impact from something that was Yeah. Um uh, so, where was I? Oh yeah, his yellow club. The dirt on his knee is the same as in the ruins, yes. And the red spot on his sleeve is not only the result of my... Is not the result of my recent fight. I mean, okay. Furthermore, his initials match the signature of the referee on the dual oath, yes. Uh, it seems that Mr. Von Kron... Knelt on the ground while trying to help Eric Von Staub. That explains the dirt on his trousers and red spot on his sleeve. Play the witness of a possible suspect. Uh, and they've got dirt in his trousers while kneeling to aim it. No, I think he's just a witness. I don't think that he actually did it. So you are Mr. Von Kram, one of the club's best shots, the referee of the deadly duel, and witness to Mr. Von Staub's murder. Incorrect. I am the best shot at the club. Heinrich Fögen Von Kram. But how did you know I was there? Your clothes, Mr. Von Kram. The dirt on your trousers confirms your presence in the old ruins. And your jacket features a bloodstain from your attempts to save Mr. Von Staub. That is impressive. It is merely inferential. Now, a few questions, if I may. Be my guest. I have nothing to hide. Um, one sec. 
Apologies. The dogs were absolutely losing their minds for a second. Okay. Um, so, um, first of all, yes, I guess, where is the other duelist? We don't have them in custody, I assume. I'd like to speak with the other competitor. He left the island. Mr. Dorfman was sure that the killer was after him. He is innocent, I assure you. Indeed, from his position, it would be impossible to fire the bullet at such a downward trajectory, but he was a witness. Well, he was blindfolded, Shame. so... All right, then tell me what happened. So, what transpired in the old ruins? Everything began as normal. The signatures, choice of weapons. I checked it all, and then blindfolded the duelists. Eric stood to my left, and his opponent, Mr. Dorfman, to my right. Before they could begin, the killer fired. And I'm sure it was not Dorfman. Why are you so sure? The sound was different. Not a Webley revolver. And further away. The killer must be an excellent shot to hit the heart. I agree. With a Lamet revolver from 50 meters or so. Um, did you see anyone? Did you or the other duelist see the murderer? No. The killer slipped away into the hills, so we turned our attention to Eric. Rest his soul. And neither of you pursued the culprit? I will not have my character impugned. We had only blank cartridges and a fallen friend at our feet. He was our focus. All right, so did he have any enemies? You said the killer was an excellent shot. Do you suspect someone from the club? Definitely not. No one from the club would break our rules. Oh, right, because they're rules. Nobody ever breaks rules. What transpired after the shooting? So after you shit Eric your pants and ran away... Form. Mr. Dorfman turned and fired at the killer, but I shouted at him to stop and help. I tried to save Eric, but it was too late. He was gone. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Um, I feel like I'm not yet ready to provide evidence on who I think the killer is, so I guess I we'll come back. Um, who's this? What? Professor Stoltz, ophthalmologist, Kinder Krankenhaus. Okay. And is that the parents again? No, that's a different, different one. Doesn't appear to be the happiest childhood. Mm, looks alright to me. Cecilia von Kram mit Cecilia Heinrich. Cecilia von Kram with Heinrich, Cologne, 1864. Mein Wunder. Mein Wunder. Von Kram family donates five thousand dollar to the oh okay. Hmm. The eye I assumed was lost in a duel. I mean even a blank cartridge hitting the eye will take that frickin' eye out. But maybe it's a childhood malady? Ah A uh wax cylinder recorder. Recordings labeled in Braille. Labeled in Braille. So it is a childhood issue. Uh, Heinrich is thus. Frederick, Elmina, Cornella, yeah, Wilfred. Your ability to perceive the world can be developed with work and concentration. Vision issues, eh? Uh, yes, it is a school for blind children. How to sharpen one's senses. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. He's partially blind. He's got a glass eye. I understand. A remarkable tool to conveniently enhance anything. I could use one for my analysis. Addressed to Heinrich von Kram and written with a nervous hand. Addressed to Heinrich von Kram and written with a nervous okay, hand. Okay, I accidentally clicked twice. Arrived just yesterday. Eric, having a von Kram in the position of honorary consul is the only way to earn the respect of the other countries. Your name is too small for the state position. 
My noble Prussian family is the guarantee that the Empire can and will stand above all other nations. H.F. von Kram. X response is written on the other side of the letter. Heinrich, good grief, what nonsense. Your family line has been corrupted by excess. You are the last and best example of this decadence. This fin de is a dying breed. Our empire needs better men, stronger, more modern. Do you truly believe such a superficial person, burdened with debts, gambling in his blood, should be entrusted with the responsibilities of the state? Moreover, have you ever known a cripple to be held up as the figurehead of this country? That's rude. I am the only legitimate candidate to replace the German honorary consul in Cordona. Spare yourself the embarrassment and withdraw your candidacy before your weaknesses are made public. Wow, I don't feel fucking bad for him, like, at all. <laughs> Admittedly, weird taste in interior design here. Himself. Pistol book. Yeah, that's weird. I assume this is where I came, came from. Yes, as I recall seeing the back side of that. Um, is there more to discover? Well, here we are once again at the beginning. All right, so... Um, didn't kill... Or did you have the other duelist? He swore there was a fourth person hidden in the ruins who fired. And then he heard a shot from another weapon. Okay, studies to sharpen the assist in the blind, okay. Um... Is that... that's it. There's no more... It's either... Talk to... Heinrich or talk to I guess the sister about this oh my god <laughs> all right um Hold on, I must be missing something. There must be more to this that I'm I'm not collecting. All right, all right. Eric, unknown, second duelist, and Heinrich, go to the ruins. Sign contracts. They prepare. They don their blindfolds. They go out into the ruins and they begin shooting at each other. At that point, Heinrich is definitely there at the ruins with them. That's opportunity. He has a Lamette revolver, which is missing. So perhaps he takes that with him. Although, why would he take this revolver? And if he did take this revolver, why would he not have put it back? I mean, to take this revolver is already stupid, because... It's literally on display. Somebody might notice it missing, even for a short time. But let's presume he's some kind of an idiot, I guess. Has the revolver. So he does have opportunity. Does he have motive? Yes, he has motive. He owed Eric a lot of money. Eric was also a tremendous asshole to him, who was threatening him politically and professionally. Um, does he have the means... Um, well, he is vision impaired, but he has worked very hard to overcome that, which is proved by his sharpshooting badge. So he has motive, means, and opportunity. Magda has motive. She was being abused for the longest time. She did not have the opportunity. She was at home. The servants confirmed she was at home. Does she have the means? I have no indication that she knows even how to use a firearm. 
but I mean, she at least is able-bodied and presumably could fire it. But I mean, with a revolver from that distance, it would require more than beginner's luck. Yes, thank you, Sherlock, for agreeing with me on that one. So I actually do believe that uh, of the two suspects we have here, that Heinrich is the most likely. He's got motive means opportunity. Magda only has motive. So let's do... Um, oh, there's more. You noticed more at the duel. There must be more you can recall from the day of the duel. I, I wish. My eyes make me a poor witness, I'm afraid. Yes, your blindness. An affliction since childhood, one presumes. No scars on your face, and you carry yourself with confidence. I'm starting to see your worth, Mr. Holmes. But this limitation developed your other senses and made you an excellent marksman. So, tell me, did you notice anything else? I do recall a floral smell. Something artificial. It was sweet and fresh and came from the direction of the killer. Something floral? You mean like... Uh, like... Lavender and pine? Do you recognize this scent? Yes. This is it. The smell I noticed at the ruins. Where did you get it? Do you know who killed Eric? Tell me his name. Hmm. I need to be elsewhere. Hmm. Maybe we should go pay her another visit. Maybe there's more for her to tell us, too. Where was that again? Up here. Maybe she's got more to say. Post box here. No. Miss von Staub is awaiting the police, sir. Oh, for fuck's Perhaps sake. You might visit on another day. All the absolute stupid shit. Good day, officer. Miss von Staub awaits you in her boudoir. I didn't notice the steamer trunk before. Are you taking a trip? Going on a trip, miss? No, I'm leaving permanently. This place brought me nothing but sorrow. I am sorry. What do you want? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about this letter your brother sent. I don't understand. Okay. What's with the gunpowder there and the paint? There is an unfinished portrait of your brother in your room. Beautiful to be sure, but one detail drew my attention. Why did you add gunpowder to your black paint? You... you entered my room? I thought you were only inspecting Eric's. It is standard procedure, Miss von Staub. Now, tell me about the gunpowder. Eric's art was his shooting, and this painting is my tribute to him. It felt... appropriate. We're both artists, in different ways. Hmm. That's what I assumed, but okay. Um, do you know Heinrich Fuegen von Krom? I don't understand. No. I don't understand. No? Okay. Um. Do you know anything about I'm this? sorry, I don't follow. Um, what's with the Lamette revolver? Oh, that's von Kram's revolver. Um. Oh, yes. What's going on with this uh, person you're in love with? I found burnt letters in your brother's room. I believe they were addressed to you. To me? From whom? They appear to be from some of your suitors. Why did you burn them? I didn't. I didn't even know about them. Eric, he... He never said a word. Why did you assume that she burned them? They were in his room. He's clearly trying to set her up with somebody else. 
and didn't want her to fall for someone else. Um, yeah, did you know about this? It seems you and Mr. Boddington were to be engaged. Were you as thrilled at the prospect as your brother? Mr. Boddington is not how I had imagined my husband. But it was Eric's choice. I didn't dare dispute it. Okay. Um, what about this missing revolver in Eric's room? One of the revolver cases in your brother's room is missing. Do you know where it may be? I'm not permitted in Eric's quarters. I suppose he must have taken it with him. And that's it. Okay. Uh, well, I still have absolutely no indication that she is familiar with firearms. She still only has a motive. Um, I don't think it's her. That it should. Is. Thank you for your time, Miss. Um, Von Kram is the only one with motive, means, and opportunity. I'm terribly oh sorry, sir. Club members only. Please. Stupid mechanic. I mean, I like the disguise thing, but the way it's implemented is just stupid. All right, is there more that I can show him then? Um, why don't you tell me what this is I've about? I've seen this before. No? Okay. What do you feel about uh, this? You and Eric were competing for the position of honorary consul, yes? Quite the title. We were, but he stood no chance. Only a true nobleman could take such a role. Hmm. Difficult for him to contest it now. Yep, that's a little bit of that motive. What about that uh, 70,000? It seems you owed Mr. von Staub a small fortune. A fortune to you, perhaps, but a trifle to me. Our debts ebbed and flowed. In our next contest, there was every chance I would win it back. Eric was too concerned about all that. Frankly, he often lacked the demeanor of a nobleman. His progressive tendencies could be grating. Okay. Um, what about I've this? never seen this no. before. What happened to your revolver? You have a nice collection of pistols, Mr. Von Kram. Ah, a fellow connoisseur of firearms. Did something catch your eye? What caught my eye is a missing Lamat. Where is it? Ah, that one. I lost it in a bet. A rare failure of mine. Doesn't a seem that rare. Whom? That's private, Mr. Holmes, and unrelated to your investigation. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't seem that rare to me. And also, it's the potential murder weapon, so... Um... Do you know Magda? I've never seen this yeah. before. Um, were you communicating with Magda? Are these letters from you? I don't know what you're talking about. Um... Did you know that he had a revolver? I don't know what you're no. talking about. Okay. Do you know Mr. Bonington? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, did you know that he had received correspondence from the German Foreign Office? I can't help no. you with this. Okay. Um. I can't help no. you with this. Okay. Um, what happened in this duel? Last year, there was a similar incident in which a duelist died. What can you tell me? A tragedy. I shot too well. And my opponent stumbled from the impact. He slipped and fell down the cliff. I regret it all. I have not participated in a duel since. Instead, I only take the role of a referee and supervise the proceedings for safety. I swore that no other club member would die in a duel. Alas, someone else intervened. So it seems. Let's see. As it happens, a Lamat 42 caliber revolver was discovered at the crime scene. You said you were missing a Lamat, yes? I did, but my Lamat was a 36 caliber. And you can prove that? My word is proof enough. If I said it, it is true. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Um, 
<laughs> no, it's not. Also a 36 caliber Lamat. That does not seem correct. Well, in any event, he's still the only one with motive, means, and opportunity. The modus operandi, the crack shot from far, also fits with something that uh, makes sense with this character. I'm going to say it's him. Mr. Von Kram, I know you murdered Eric Von Staub. You joke. I didn't do it. On the contrary. When the opportunity arose, you pounced. Uh, the window of opportunity. He was the referee. So... Uh, three. Where's the one that says he was the referee? Um, here. that doesn't make any sense at all. What? And furthermore, I had no reason to want Eric dead. Okay. That should have been the opportunity, but okay, the motive. How about... The money or the Actually, you had a motive. Okay. That's ridiculous. No, it's not. And I know what you used to kill your friend too. The Lumat revolver. Your pistol collection is missing a piece. The murder weapon you disposed okay. no, of. That one was bed. right. I, mean, I lost it in a bet. For God's sake, you'd make a stuffed bird laugh. Mr. Von Kram, I believe you are the one responsible for Eric Von Staub's death. You are now under my arrest and will be escorted to the police. I have never been so insulted in all my life. I am innocent, as you will soon find out. Hmm. New entry in John's diary. Not sure we made the right decision. I mean, he's the only one that had motive, means, opportunity. Is the. <laughs> I mean, he's the only one who had all three. 